Today, we're gonna bring in a water cooling for the CPU. Uh, also, it's gonna read how many degrees we have. This is something I actually need because uh, my system fails to tell me, even if you download the application, it's a hit and miss on some of those things. But I wanna see exactly the heat inside the actual computer. That's why we're gonna build a computer with this, surrounded with this system around. And if we're gonna put it on this Leon system, uh, and, and take a look, look at it and see how well it works. All right, so here's the whole setup. First of all, we got our actual instructions and what's included in here, how to set this up. Now they do give you the actual mount for the for an AMD and a Intel chip. It's gonna take on the new actual, the new CPU and the new motherboard. Now, if you guys noticed, it comes already with thermal paste installed already. It comes with this plastic and the adjustable lock that you need here that you're gonna require. Um, they're gonna give you a couple of things that you do need to connect, all right? Um, power, USB, all right? You're gonna need a USB and you're gonna need a fan connection and, and you're gonna need a SATA connection, all right? Yeah, we have all the connections that is required. You're gonna make sure that uh, it's compatible with your motherboard. So that's something you have to do. A uh, reservoir, you can hear it, there's liquid in here. Uh, you can see through it, so it's good good adjustments. Uh, it has uh, screws for two-sided if you're gonna do the bottom and top. So this is gonna be on the top of this tower, okay? So we are gonna put it on top of the tower and see how it works. And it's gonna take an Intel Core uh, um, i9, 12th gen, all right? So, all right, so we're gonna continue. We're gonna flip it over, all right? Flip it over just a little bit to adjust the actual motherboard. Make sure that we have all the components. We're gonna put the piece in here. This is the actual for the back of the motherboard. And we're gonna see if it fits. It looks like it's fitting good. We could adjust these, all right? These are adjustable. So we're gonna adjust this one to closer to the edge. And there we go. Got them all through. You can see them. Put that in there. We're not gonna need that. We're just gonna place this one in here. All right, this is the hard part. We're gonna see if we're gonna put it here. This needs to be adjusted here, in this place. Okay, we're gonna adjust it here. We're gonna put it in here. All right, got it well established in there. 
set them up on the side here. That one there. But we also want the cables to adjust. So the cables to be here. Okay, before we do that, put one of these washers. All right, if you guys can see the water cooling, I mounted on this side, on the top, and I switched it to this side, the water. You could, because I needed the space for the actual fan. These fans are perfect. If I don't got an, a third fan for this case, it, it wouldn't fit at all. It would just, you have to get a two fan. It, it won't fit. There's not enough room for three fans in here. Uh, so this is perfect for the mount and we're gonna talk a little bit more about the software because I had an issue. I updated to the latest software and that thing wasn't working. Um, I had to downgrade it so I could get the software to work. And if you can see, now I can see it and I could add my own logo and it was sideways too. So you have to rotate, you could rotate it on the software. The old software, you couldn't do this. So right now integrated with the whole thing is really good. I was able to find an RGB uh, connection in my motherboard and I'm able to control some of the functions uh, with the software of course you need the software um, you got to make sure your your motherboard is compatible to have some of the controls in here so if you want to connect your fans to the motherboard you could do that but I don't recommend you I prefer separating the actual fans to the actual power source so it will interfere when anything happens into the motherboard continuing to cool down this whole system I'm, I'm impressed with this water i like it so far it's been working well i love that i'm gonna put my logos in here my 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 channel logos and other stuff uh, i like that that you can do that you can modify it um the software is the only issue you're gonna have to go with the older one if you can get this to work properly right now it's generating it's gonna pick up itself so right now we have the actual system here oh uh, it's working uh you could change the colors you could change different tones you could change different um, uh, pulse, flash, double, you know, you could change, manipulate the whole system. And if you have other features that are related to this application, uh, to the hardware, they will line up in here. You could also change it too itself. Now you could upload your own logo, your own image. Uh, just be aware that when you do that, you got to make sure you sync the whole thing up. Uh, you could change the colors of the fans in here, manipulate them. And like I said, you could change them to a point where you could save them too and also come back to it. Right now we have a one color. We could always change it to red, blue, and so forth. And then we could apply it down here and then we could reset it. Brightness, speeds, you could control the speeds pretty much on the application. Uh, uh, static, right now we have it on static, but we could always change it to different, different uh, functions they have. And like I said, you could upload your own logo, your own modes. Uh, very simple to sync up to different kinds of syncs that you have in here. You could go back to your profiles. You could change. You could save your profiles. Very simple to use this application. All right. Here's the other engine part of it and what we could apply to it. Right now, if you can see, if you have a video card, you can go in here. This is the older application that you need. And the first application, you couldn't do anything. But on this one, you could just go in here. And you could change it to say you want to read the temperatures of CPU, GPU, and so forth. Right now, we just put the CPU because that's the most critical thing I want to see. Uh, rotation, you could change the rotation of the actual logo. You could upload your logo. You could change the LED lights too through here. This is an older version, but it works well. And it's better than the other one still because they actually show you the actual fan speeds, the pump how much uh, is transferring from water, uh, the pump RPMs, if you can see that. Um, you could change the different, if you have different water cooling systems, they'll line up in here. So easy to use, and if the first one's not working for you, you're gonna have to come back to this one. 